Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome to Northern Ireland, specifically Portrush. Uh, it's a resort town on the north coast here, on the Causeway coast, uh, which is what I'm going to be walking over the next few days. If you've seen the channel before, you know the drill. Uh, it's a few days of hiking and wild camping, coastal walk, the weather is gorgeous and I can't wait to get started. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm only uh, five minutes out of Port Rush and I've already realised I made a, a big mistake, <laughs> a big blunder. Um, I assumed walking from west to east uh, I'd have the wind on my back, but evidently not. Apparently it works differently here. So I'm going to have the wind in my face. had to be done. Beautiful beach isn't it guys? Great weather too, much better than I expected. Although it's still a bit chilly, I do fancy a dip. I just uh, tested the water here. As you can see it's clear as anything and it's actually pretty warm as well but that's a shallow bit, probably a bit different out a bit further. Maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. I haven't seen anyone swimming without a wetsuit. So that's pretty telling in itself. So maybe tomorrow I'll go for a dip, not today. Now this is more like it. Don't get me wrong, I like the beach as much as the next man. Probably more than the next man. I prefer the cliff walks. So I just stopped off there at the town of Bushmills, home of the uh, famous whiskey distillery. I uh, didn't visit the distillery, but I did pick up some produce from there. And now I'm just uh, on the side of the steam railway line to Giants Causeway. And apparently it's only two miles in this direction. So I had a little change of plan, I'm going to head back up to Port Ballantrade because I've missed out quite a big section of the coast along here and I've got hours left before I need to set up camp, before sunset in fact, um, it's been midsummer almost, a couple of weeks off, uh, it's not sunset till 10 o'clock tonight so, <laughs> and it's not even 6 o'clock so I've got plenty of time to kill so I'm going to head back up to the coast, do a few more miles before landing at the Giant's Causeway. Almost there guys, almost at the Giants Causeway, 
I'm actually ridiculously excited. So I've been wanting to come here for years. Uh, just around the corner now. Okay, remember when I said it was just around the corner? Um, what I meant was around this corner and this corner and probably one or two more corners. Okay, just one more corner, I promise. And just over there, we have famous stacks of the Giant's Causeway. All right, guys, as you can see, it's pretty spectacular and also pretty busy. Um, it's no surprise, really. It's Saturday evening, 7 o'clock on a bank holiday weekend. It's actually the Queen's Jubilee this weekend. Um, so, yeah, no surprise, it's busy. Um, I'm hoping the crowds will disappear soon. It's only 7 o'clock and um, I'm going to be here for a while because the uh, sun doesn't go down until 10 o'clock at this time of year at, um, and this far north. Uh, good news is plenty of spots to camp. I'm thinking probably over there somewhere. Well, there's a bit of greenery over here. I don't know if they have park rangers or anything over here, but we'll see. I'm sure they'll be somewhere. Um, pretty stealthy anyway. And yeah, that'll be it until 4.50, I believe, is sunrise. So that'll be um, probably getting dark tonight around half 10 and the sun will be coming up around 4.20 <laughs> so there's not going to be much sleep in tonight but that's all good um, I didn't come here to sleep anyway and uh, to be stealthy I'm going to have to be setting up late and getting up straight away as soon as the sun comes up so that'll be interesting there's plenty to explore here anyway um, I've got all these cliffs to uh, explore in the morning that'll warm me up um, it's going to get down to about 10 degrees so not too cold and as soon as that sun comes up it'll be nice anyway so I'm going to um, leave you time lapse now with a bit of information on Giants Causeway and I'm going to have some food and uh, something to drink. I'll see you in a bit. guys <laughs> it's about 20 to 10 now um, absolutely beautiful evening sultry it's uh, warm and sunny and there's no breeze whatsoever still quite busy most people are sodded off but it's still quite busy um, everyone's here for the sunset presumably I can't blame them on an evening like this 
So I'm just going to um, wait until the sun's down to about 10 o'clock and then I'm going to set up camp. Um, it's not very stealthy. I may even get moved on, but we'll see. Hopefully it'll be all right. I'm only there for a few hours anyway before the sunrise. Uh, um, so I'm just going to sit here for another 20 odd minutes, uh, drink a bit more whiskey, read my book. It's hard life, isn't it? <laughs> Okay guys, it's half 10 at night, believe it or not. Look at that sky. The moon's up there, but it does not feel like night time at all. And as a result, I'm not feeling tired at all, despite it being half past 10 at night. Um, I'm all set up. Here we are, the luxury abode, just by the water. Um, it's a decent little spot, pretty secluded, but it does whiff a, a little bit, um, it does smell. It's, uh, you know, the sort of smell of uh, like mouldy seaweed, seaweed that's been there a long time and it's been rotting. Yeah, it's kind of that smell, but it's, it's not too strong, thankfully, unless it's just me. No, it's not me. Um, so I'm going to try and get a few hours kip. It's good, the sun's going to be coming up early, um, so I'm going to be on the move early, but um, it's such, it's been such a beautiful evening, it's so nice. Um, there's quite a few mozzies about at the moment, so I'm going to get straight in there and um, yeah, just protect myself from them. But yeah, I um, the time lapse I did would have told you about the uh, the sort of scientific nature of how the uh, Giants Causeway is formed. Tomorrow I'll give you the sort of the mythical nature of it. But uh, hope you enjoyed the video today, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.